Make sure you stand to the end guys, we'll share common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars in damages. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Escape, this generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the fuse for the phone passenger seat is located, which fuse controls it if it doesn't work, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important to always test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have that generation for an escape from year 2013 to 2019, this specifically is pre-facelifted version, this is the facelifted version. There will be some minor differences, we'll talk about that, but we'll make a video about every single possible fuse, relay, why we do that. Let's say guys, you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuse for fuel pump or engine starter is located, or relay for radiator fan, you can just search that on our channel, watch the video for less than one or two minutes find out where it is replace it in your back on the road we do that to save you money guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can and we guys have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels as well that can save you more than thousands of dollars in future repairs if you guys need to buy any parts tools fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so the front right seat guys fuse okay known as passenger seat fuse let's explain now on that generation for the scale where you can find it this is the pre-phase lifted version this is the phase lifted version but that's the same generation you have three different fuse boxes guys in that suv today we're working the one that's in the trunk open the trunk and if you face the trunk here on the right side you have a cover open that cover once you do you'll find a fuse box okay with a layout that will look just like this one right here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out the passenger seat fuse if you have problems with the seat not working having problems with it always check that fuse first guys so if you come in this row this is fuse 1 through 16 in that row that's where we will be working and coming here we're going to start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 even if you have an empty spot you count it that 25 amp fuse that's the one for the front passenger seat that you need to check if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.